An ectopic birth occurs whenever a fertilized egg, instead of fertilizing and the uterine cavity, is implanted on the outside of the cavity. <clears throat> this can occur because in the fallopian tubes, in the ovaries, in the outside of the uterus, or even an abdominal organ. It is a pathology which is very dangerous and can even put at risk the life of the mother. Why does this occur? This happens because the fertilization happens in the ampullary region. And, and whenever the ov ovary is fertilized uh, by the spermatozoid, it has to go through the fallopian tubes in order to get to the uterus cavity. Generally what happens is that the fallopian tubes are obstructed by something that does not let it go through. The fertilized egg goes into the uterus cavity. The most commonly associated causes of this are infectious diseases in the fallopian tubes, which are usually uh, caused by a previous infection by an illness which can be of vaginal or cervical origin that weren't treated uh, correctly. Secondly, a second cause of this can be an endometriosis in which the endometric tissue starts growing or transpasses into other regions, usually into pelvic or organs, in which case in, it is the fallopian tubes. All of this can cause an obstruction in the fallopian tubes, which and another cause can also be a cumulants of foreign tissue that can occur after previous surgeries. Whenever a patient has been previously submitted to a surgery in, the, in an abdominal region, be it because of an intestinal, an appendix issue, or any abnormality, there is a high susceptibility of, for, of forming accumulation of foreign tissue, which can cause an obstruction of the fallopian tubes. What are the symptoms usually associated with this illness? In this case, the most common symptom is the characteristic abdominal pain. A pain which as the pregnancy continues to grow, so will the, the frequency and the intensity of the pain. If the <clears throat> ectopic birth occurs in the fallopian tubes, as we know, the fallopian tubes have a small diameter. As the baby's zygote will continue to grow throughout the, <clears throat> the pregnancy, this will cause a dilation in the fallopian tube, which can get up to a point where it can cause the fallopian tube to break which will cause a massive amount of abdominal pain in the patient. Some other symptoms associated with this illness are transvaginal bleeding, which may act as a warning sign of an abortion. You may also notice um, abnormalities in blood tensional levels. And it is very important that if a patient, if a patient presents these signs and symptoms, that you correctly investigate if the zygote is growing inside the cavity or in the outside of the cavity in order to provide an adequate treatment. What is the treatment associated with this illness? The treatment is based on how problematic the ectopic birth is. You may find some patients in which the zygote sac may not be broken. These patients usually are patients in which they have no normal blood tensional levels, normal body temperature, vital signs are in check, heart rate is normal, without any, any medical signs or symptoms of an, in the abdominal region. These patients may be managed in, which, in a way in which the fertilized zygote egg can be preserved through uh, two different procedures. First is a uh, laparoscopic procedure in which an incision is made, tiny holes are created in the abdominal region in order to introduce a periscopic lens or camera. Inside the cavity, a, sm a small incision is made in order to, in order to do a, a, tubular, a tubular ligation in the fallopian tube. The sac is taken out of the, the, of the fallopian tube and the product is placed in its correct origin. This is the most recommended place and it maintains the sexual organs intact. In some cases, an ectopic birth isn't broken, but you may find the, the product without a heartbeat, no, no vital signs, 
Usually in these cases, the treatment is done medically. In this case, the medication that is recommended is methotrexate. It is a method in which surgery is not involved. In some other cases in which the ectopic perf is broken or the sac is broken, you can see the patient has developed more signs and symptoms. Usually there will be an instability in her blood, the blood tensional levels will be low, low body temperatures, the patient may be tachycardic, and the pain is the abdominal pain is very characteristic. In these cases, the method of treatment that is recommended is an exploratory laparotomy, in which a lineal incision is made in the abdominal region in order to enter the cavity. In some of these cases, it is not it is not um, in these cases the birth is not able to be saved or even the fallopian tube sometimes there sometimes it is required that the fallopian tube be um, connected to and ligated into the ampular region in these cases in which the fallopian tube is removed from the patient um, the birth is no longer acceptable, but because there is a second fallopian tube, the patient is able to continue an attempt at pregnancy and a further time down. In women with ectopic births, um, is there any doubt or uh, any side effect that may occur because of the previous ectopic birth? There is a chance of developing a reoccurrence because, like we said previously, this occurs because of illnesses that are usually of an infectious or occlusional cause. Obviously, if a patient has previously had an ectopic birth, it is recommended that the patient uh, checks up on and does exams to evaluate the permeability of their fallopian tubes before attempting another pregnancy. Also, some other patients are more susceptible to developing an ectopic birth. One example of this is a patient who utilize um, interuterine contraceptives. These are usually of a copper origin and because of this it is recommended that the patients regularly check up on their contraceptives on the dates that they are given in order to prevent an ectopic birth.